Hey, yo, what's going on, peoples? Hey, people. Hey, hammies. Hey, one GMM. Couple things to show you here with some configurations, playing with some stuff. As usual, no, I didn't put my eye out yet. First thing I wanted to show you is for those of you who would like to get into either piping audio virtually and through different transceivers in and in or out. In and out. Let me show you this. I don't know if you can see it because the light's glaring. That is a USB audio stereo sound adapter by Sabrent. I have three of these. And they are brilliant. This is what they look like how big they are. They have two 3.5 TRS jacks. Green is for playback, speaker out. Pink is for, is that pink? Let's call it pink. Pink is for a line in or microphone in, whichever you prefer. So what I'm actually doing, the reason why I'm doing this and putting this video up is I'm giving people very inexpensive options, right? So this is in reference, I'm using this in reference to the RX DSP system I'm running on the ICOM and the Sun, which I'm thinking about selling. I'm pretty sure the Sun's going down the road because I don't need it. Um, So basically, let me go over how the hardware is connected and how it's put together. Now, these are about 10 bucks worth every penty. Penty. <laughs> I am so tired. And I've got two of these in me. Yeah. Straight up scotch. Never more than two cubes. So I figured, see how I'm happy. I'll just push a video up and I am so tired. Uh, this new puppy is kicking my ass. He's about 12 weeks old now and he is just a firecracker. So moving on. Sabrent sound adapter, USB sound adapter, 10 bucks off of like Amazon. All right. So you take one of these, no driver required, works on Linux. I don't know if it works on Mac. I think it might, but it works on Linux, no driver, Windows, no driver. You just plug it in and go, all right? So what you're going to need to do is you need to plug this into your computer. I'm going to run through how I have it configured and set up and show you how to make it work on any transceiver that passes audio out, in and out through the USB cable, uh, like the 7300. I'm going to demo the 7300. And you don't need to spend a lot of money on a sound card. This is very snappy uh, running on a Windows driver. The latency, mm, there's a little latency there. But it is literally, it's noticeable when I go between the rig, just the native front end of the rig, and the DSP system using this. But pff, it's not a deal breaker. I bring my audio in direct. So the TX audio is like boom, boom, boom. It's right there. So plug this into the computer you will need one trs 3.5 trs that plugs into the green and then you need to come out of this from there it needs to go into if you're use if you're going to use the realtek sound card in the computer then you can use two 3.5 trs's okay and set the input of the line in so you come out of this into the line in into the back of the computer and you need to set that to a line in it's going to prompt you when you plug it in whether it's a microphone or a line in choose line in all right i'm using a cheapo behringer um2 it's a dynamite card worth every penny they're about i think you can get them between 30 and 40 bucks used on the market knew they're like $45 something like that worth every penny they actually have a very superb preamp in it um, as well so I'll show you a picture of that 
So you come out of this, 3.5 TRS out to a quarter inch TRS into the UM2 or a 3.5 TRS into the line in the computer if you don't have an additional sound card. Sound card. I have not tried to run two of these on the computer yet. I have a feeling it would actually work because Windows drivers you can share. It just depends on how it identifies them in the sounds panel. So, all right, so that describes how to actually make the connection, the hard connection. Yes, you will need two cards to make this work, whatever cards they may be, all right? Sabrent, cheap, works, I'll show you. Okay, so let's get over to the other. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, first thing you wanna do if you're running an ICOM 7300 or any radio that uses an audio, uh, USB audio codec, you wanna to go to the speaker icon right here, right click on it, hit sounds, and go to the recording tab. Find your USB audio codec, and, and this is, it's not a codec moment, it's a codec. <laughs> okay, here it is right here. You want to right click on that. That's the ICOM 7300. Go to properties. Check your sample rate first, 48 kilohertz. Go to listen. You want to select the USB Sabrent card, which is going to be identified as that. It's going to say USB audio device. Okay, hit the drop down. Make sure that is select that and click listen to this device. Okay, click OK. That's done. Now what this does is it is it sends the audio from the ICOM or whatever rig you're using, if it's passing audio in and out through your uh, sound card on the computer via USB cable. However, it's identified in there, find that. Um, and you can, what that does is it, it sends the audio out of this. Now you've got to get this to the other card. There's a method to the madness here. So you get this to the other card. Remember 3.5 TRS to could be the line in on your onboard sound card in the computer. If you have your speakers plugged in to the Realtek speaker out, that's your primary station card. Mine is not, mine's a, a separate card, which is a primary station card. As you guys probably know, if you've been following me, I'm not gonna go into it and go deep, all right? But, uh, so if you're coming into a UM2, 3.5 TRS out, you just set the Kodak to send the audio out through this from your rig, out of this and into a quarter inch TRS. So let me grab the other camera. See if I can put enough tilt on this. I think that will probably do it. So let's get over to the desk cam. She is not in focus. Focus, grasshopper, focus. Okay, so this is a UM2. So you can see the cable, which comes from the Sabrent, which is plugged into the back, comes into line one of this, and you can see that green light flashing. That's receiving audio from the radio. The whole system is controlled pretty much with this knob and the RF gain on the 7300, okay? Once the RF gain is set properly, you can pretty much drive the entire system with just this one knob. All right, now we get to the ugly. So, enter voice meter. Chiquita Banana. I hate Chiquita Banana. I hate voice meter, but I'm using it and it's pretty solid so far. So, hey, let's run with it. So the very first thing you want to do, you want to download. If you don't have the, K the DAW installed, I will have a pre-configured um, plug-in chain and cakewalk setup put on the website after this video is rem rendered and I will link you to the website, you can go and get it. And what that file will do, download it, drag it to your desktop and open it. Once you have Cakewalk and all of the appropriate plugins installed, all of these plugins right here, 
it will automatically open cake cakewalk pre-configured. The only thing you'll have to do is basically, well, I'll walk you through how to make that happen. Uh, you will need to download voice meter banana. Go ahead and install that. Now, when you open voice meter banana, first thing you're going to do is you're going to select your hardware input. So in this case, it's going to be the Behringer USB audio. It can either be KS. If this doesn't work, go to WDM or MME. All right. Now, if you're not using the Behringer and you're just using your onboard card, you would select this. See this line in? Remember I was saying you can go to 3.5 TRS to 3.5 TRS out of the Sabrin card into the line in of the back of the computer. This will use your Realtek card. All right. It will work. So you just have to choose the whatever card that that audio is being sent to from that Sabrin card. That's what you want to select. Once that's done, select it. If the radio's on and it's receiving, you should see the meters moving. All right, set B2, check B2 and mono. Over here, uh, this is, so Cakewalk is going to communicate through voice meter aux right here. So this is the kill box. So you want to set your playback. Now up here, let me go over this for those of you who never farted with banana. Um, A1 and A2 and A3, these are your hardware outs. So these have to be set. So you want to set the A1 to your primary station card. If you have a card that is your primary card, um, you're running a primary station outboard card, you need to set it appropriately. I'm running the M Audio Air 192.4. If you're running, let's say, your Realtek Audio, you'll select WDM Realtek speakers, just the computer card, or MME right here. That's, that's what you want to select, okay? That's the A1. That's the only thing you need to be concerned with for now. So make sure the A1 tab is checked. Ignore the A2. I'm piping audio to the Realtek card, and, and OBS is actually picking it up. So that's how that's working. All right. Now, once Cakewalk is open and configured, what you want to do is you want to go to, is it edit? Yes, edit, preferences, and you're going to see banana voice meter listed. Under devices right here, you want to make sure voice meter aux virtual ASIO is checked. Voice meter aux virtual ASIO is checked on the input and output. Click apply. Okay, mine's already set. Don't have to do it. Now you're done. All right. Uh, this will mute your audio. And this will allow audio to pass through the DAW and through all the DSP plugins on the receive. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demo this quick. So, oh, and there's one other thing I wanted to mention right here. I had this, I have this happen off and on. If for some reason you light up the system and it doesn't work, go into, go to your speaker icon right here, right click, go to sounds. This right here. This window will open, go to the recording tab, go to your USB audio codec right here. Right click, properties, listen, toggle this. Shut it off, hit apply, turn it on, hit apply. Boom, your audio should come right back on again. I had this happen, the computer was sitting here all day and I lit it up and I had no audio. Don't ask, I don't even know how I figured that out, but um, it may happen to you, may not. All right, so let me unmute this. And let's get over to the other screen and I will tell you what the signal strengths are. I'm gonna mute this first so you don't get your head blown, heads blown off. Oh, that's a good thing I did that because it's freaking horrid. Oh. Okay, so I'm just about to bring the audio online. We're looking at Europe right now. This is a Fox 5 station. So let me demo it. I'll bring the audio on. 
Key, that station, that station is at the noise floor. Uh, he's actually sub-zero. Uh, it's not even registering on the ICOM because I'm pointed at Europe. He's stateside here. He's a WA4. So we'll wait for the F5, uh, the France station, to come back. And he's going to talk for a half hour, so we're going to move on. You're all set. Oh, there he is. Okay, uh, Jane, uh, okay, for your location in uh, Arkansas, uh, Arkansas, uh, let me check where you're locating. Uh, is it Chertsey? Chertsey, yeah? Chertsey, Ch difficult to pronounce for me. Hi, hi. And uh, yes, uh, you are 5 and uh, 8, 58, 5 and 8, your report. Huh? Yeah, I've never been to Arkansas, oh, it's not far off from uh, Memphis, but Memphis is, uh, where, where is Memphis? It's not the Arkansas, huh? I think it's, uh, yeah, it's a teeny, Tennessee, yeah. Oh, I don't imagine Memphis is a uh, close of Arkansas, huh? Oh, I, lo I learned the ge geog I learned the geography and yeah, the map. <laughs> okay, running here with one big kilowatt uh, with uh, Flex Radio 6300. And the antenna is a flex, uh, is a, is a, sorry, is a log periodic, is a 10 element log periodic from a teeny dyne. So, microphone to you, WE5V, and this is a 5 LIT, over. Okay, let's check, uh, I'm going to go down to... But you still, I like the idea of keeping your tag. You can keep that tag forever. <laughs> Any car that you buy after that, you can use the same tag. It's going to be tagged to your name. Okay, let's go up to um, drag banana back off the screen. Cakewalk off the screen. Okay, let's go to what's this guy right here? Hang on. I'll find someone who's actually speaking English. <laughs> okay, this guy is an S5 right now. He's an S5. Keep that in mind when you listen to this. Pay no attention to the pan adapter. I think I'm running this at plus 20 dB. So uh, you're not hearing audio from SDR console. Let me get over to the other screen. You're not hearing audio from this, from SDR console. You're hearing the native front end of the 7300 running through the ARCS DSP system. And uh, we'll look for you on the bands here if we can. He's an S3. So long from Florida. Uh, G2BKZ, KE9JX. See you later. Yeah, thanks a lot there, Skip. Uh, okay, QZ, uh, G2BKZ. Okay, so he's an S5. Uh, I got sugar in the call sign only, over. S5 on the ICOM 7300. Native. Okay, Whiskey Alpha 2, Radio X-Ray Sugar. Thanks for the call. Uh, name is, you probably got it by now, Rob. Romeo, Oscar, Bravo, and a QG8. Uh, a town called Stevenage. Stevenage in Hertfordshire, about 30 miles north of London. WA2RXS, uh, G2BKZ. First time we worked, over. Okay, that station is not copyable. Let's head up here. Who's this? Thank you very much. Seventy three zero, thank you very much. Uh, bye bye, John. Kilo whiskey eight tango. Kilo whiskey tango alpha. Okay, kilo just a moment. I got YL and I got kilo whiskey eight question mark. Uh, kilo whiskey eight question mark. Kilo whiskey eight question mark. Uh, 
Yes, uh, Kilo Whiskey 8 Tango. Okay, very fine. The Kilo Whiskey 8 Tango. Thank you very much. Okay, so let me go over a couple things regarding the 7300. All right, so see if I can get the camera back. If I can get this position so you can see the 7300 so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh. Just wrecked my camera. Jeez. <laughs> oh, good heavens. Might as well have stepped on the cord for crying out loud. Okay. So here's a couple things on the 7300, right? So if you... Sometimes, like I just turned the NR on, the noise reduction on, on the 7300. So in combination with the RF gain, I kind of ride, I, I set the RF gain, and the RF gain is really dependent upon the noise floor. So if you have a very quiet band, you're best to run the RF gain wide open with this DSP system. If the noise is high, you're going to need to roll the RF gain down a little bit, okay? Same with any other radio. It's probably going to work identical. So I just kicked the noise reduc reduction on. Sometimes the noise reduction is a huge help because it, it, the noise reduction on the 7300 is basically nothing but a low-pass filter. I don't care what anybody says. So... And I should have closed the door because the amplifier, the PW1 is running and you may hear a roar in the background. Um, anyways, that's a sideshow. I am going to do a video on the PW1 at some point. So uh, go ahead and kick the noise reduction on. I have the noise reduction set to two. Very little, just to take a little bit of the hiss and the QRN out of it, the atmospheric noise. And that helps the DSP system work. You don't want to run too much because it will strip the high end off the audio. If you have somebody with really harsh audio, which is very common, sometimes it's better to ju just go ahead and turn the NR on, on, on whatever rig you're using, and it will help that situation a lot. So let me get back over to... Let's go find another signal. And again, ignore the pan adapter. I have this ramped up. It's like a 20 dB preamp on here. Um, and I have this, the high part of the spectrum, because of 20 dB preamp, it's much higher than it technically should be, right? Um, I was on 17 meters, and the signals were literally not even registering on the ICOM. They were S0, and it was like they were 20 over. So let me check this one here. She's every t I'm just keeping hold of my uh, uh, 30 one linear. I love that calling. Okay, ring. he's an S4 and, uh, I'm on use the icon. It when, uh, I so need let me to open. In, uh, anger, uh, if I need a, a big contact. <laughs> anyway, uh, I wish you all the best, this, uh, Hal. Thanks very much for the shout there. Uh, uh, Ruben, uh, K A uh, K three A T O uh, G two B K Z. Take care. Let's go to. Whiskey one Alpha Delta Bravo Delta Hotel three Kilo Radio. Okay, so I'm going to show you what happens. You hear the noise. So on a noisy band, thank you very much. That uh, very often uh, must be the combination from the from the radio, the microphone, my voice. Uh, I got very often those reports, and uh, I like it very much because it is very very easy to work. Uh, um, when my report, my my signals. So what I what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, I just rolled the RF gain back. So I'm going to roll the RF gain back and you're going to hear the audio come up and the noise disappear. 
It helps the DSP system work. This is a good example. The three lament beam uh, pointing in your direction, uh, Don. Whiskey one, Alpha Delta Bravo, Delta Hotel Free, Killer Radio. Okay, so the RF gain is at about 10 o'clock on the ICOM. Uh, that signal you're hearing is stateside here, I believe here, and he's behind me. He's on the back of the antennas, and he's not even registered. Okay, uh, your transceiver is an analog transceiver. Ah, okay. Thank you very much for the information. Uh, I, I had some other stations uh, days ago with this analog transceiver. I didn't uh, near hear it before, but it made me a notice in my logbook, so we'll read it uh, later about this. Uh, Don, thank you very much for the contact. You have a really big signal here, 20 dB over S9 at the moment. Very, very, very strong, but uh, 1K is not. <laughs> I'm not wondering why. Uh, thank you very much, Don. 73 for now. Greetings to New Hampshire. And uh, all the best. The whiskey one, Alpha Delta Bravo. Very sharp QSB on him. Wicked. Um, that's where the system you do, you will have to either write it or crack it open a little bit. But in headphones, on speakers, it sounds really good. In headphones, it's like hypercritical. You will hear a little artifacting. But I just wanted to demo this with that little cheap sound card. Um, virtually no difference between like a full-blown $150, $200 sound card and this cheap little $10 card. Yeah, uh, good, good signal. Yes, Al. KKDX 20 meters are listening. Uh, can you give me your name, please? Over. Yeah, okay there, Paul. You're coming back up again now. I'll give you a five and eight on that last over. So he's natively... And uh, my apologies uh, that uh, conditions are changing uh, rapidly again. So he's they anywhere from a on me like this. S5 I, to I an S8. Uh, there's and, an S4. Uh, I used to have that on 17 meters. So roll the RF gain back. back. In the, uh, uh, the old days of the last sunspot cycle. Anyway, Paul, um, I'm uh, uh, running an FG1000 Delta, about 200 watts, and... Uh, the antenna is a quad. Noise um, reduction off. The uh, the autumn is coming in and uh, got very cold over the weekend. Now it's uh, gone a little bit more mild, so I'm looking forward to uh, a nice warm weekend. Anyway, Paul, back to you for a final, if you may. Uh, WA1JSE, G2BKZ, over. Now he's an S9. So roll the RF gain back. Und wenn sie halt die 100 Watt auf 2 Meter oder 75 Watt auf 70 nicht länger da vom IC 9700, dann werden die nächste Ausbaustufe werden TA zu kaufen. Genau. Uh, Call 4, Bravo Kilo Echo, Delta Hotel 3, Kilo Radio, Sign and Clear. And the NR back on. Hear the noise come roaring in? Um, it does help. And then what you do is okay, you... Okay, that's 73. Uh, whiskey 4, the station was... Whiskey. Much better. Of course, there's like 10, 15, uh, 20 dB Okay, whiskey, the station was whiskey. Okay, whiskey 3, uniform alpha lima, is it correct? Yeah, let me check what he is. Okay, the Bay Area. Uh, whiskey free uniform Alpha Lima, is it okay? Okay, so okay. he's about an S5 okay, to S7. S5, S3. Boy, the band is really screwed up, but this is a good test. So bring no the problem, RF gain no back. Problem, no problem. I wonder why about the name. Thank you very much from Ivan I Irvington in Virginia. Your report is five nine plus twenty dB. Very very strong. Excellent audio. Very good quality of the signal. Thank you very much for calling me and uh, wish you a pleasant evening. And uh, got the X uh, seventy three for now, uh, dear Andy. Whiskey free. Uniform Alpha Lima Delta Hotel free. Kilo Radio. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. 73. Oof.
is uh, Lima, Santiago, Echo, five lines of Belgium. And my name is David, yeah. Um, yeah, no problem. She might call you Fox Trot. Number five, Lima, Italy, Tango. Fox five, Lima, India, Tango. Okay, you are in the... Uh, in VA, no, I was thinking he was in Arizona. Yeah, so he's in S- seven, but I know uh, the FTC S- changed uh, the rules, uh, unfortunately, S- yeah, because uh, before we we like to uh, we like to contact uh, W6 or W7, we know it's the West Coast, but now it's not. <laughs> okay, uh, so running here, uh, you are 10 below 92. A noise reduction off. You're here in Normandy. Um, running with a Flex Radio 6300 with a uh, log periodic antenna 10 element log periodic. Key 7, key and M. This is a 5 light here. Okay, so that's that's basically it, folks. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you. Let me mute this. So that... That is how to set it up. So you could get up and running. You need a patch cable, 3.5 to 3.5 TRS if you're coming into the line into the back of the computer, or a 3.5 TRS to one quarter inch TRS if you're coming into a, a external sound card like a Behringer or whatever. You, you can use any sound card, any external sound card. You may be able to use two of these. I haven't checked that out, and I will let everybody know. Ten bucks plus patch cord and you can have like probably one of the best DSP systems quite possibly the best on the face of the earth <laughs> for ham radio um I love it it's freaking oh for rag chewing it's freaking beautiful it's a it's a little rough when there's huge amounts of noise on the band static crashing um could it be improved yeah probably I'm sure it could be Maybe somebody's got an idea. Uh, but anyways, that's it. 7-3. Have a great evening, you guys. And we'll be back with some other kind of cool, cheap stuff. Pennies on the dollar is how we roll here. We'll catch you later. It's quite, quite remarkable when you think about what like a DSP system would cost. Let's see. $3,000 a non. Or a ten dollar Sabrent. Ooh, I know you can't compare the two, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> that system comes damn close to be it. In some instances, it beats the Anon. To be honest with you, it does. Absolutely beats it, and that's like freaking. That's got the best front end control of any transceiver on the planet. Period. So, pretty freaking cool. See y'all later.